Aloha and welcome to my video blog. I'm Dr. Matthew James and I wanted to share with you a really simple process. I've gotten a bunch of questions about how do I kind of still my mind and I actually wrote an article on this and did a blog in my Psychology Today blog about how to reboot your brain. So let me give you a couple of really quick ideas here, give you some reasons why you would want to do this and give you a specific technique in this blog. Okay, here we go. You ready? About every 90 minutes, you go from beta, which is a brainwave pattern where you're in uptime, you're doing stuff, you're on the email, and you drop down naturally into alpha. And that is your body's attempt to relax, to take a break. But here's the deal. We try to fight that. And what do I mean by fighting it? Well, let's see. Oh, I don't feel like I'm as in uptime as I was an hour ago. Let me take a five hour energy drink and force your body into that uptime. But then what we tend to do is we tend to have that afternoon crash. You see, your body needs a break every once in a while. It's kind of like a computer. When your computer starts to slow down, whether you have a Mac or a PC, every once in a while you got to reboot that thing. And what it does is it helps to put things back into order. So the reason why you would want to do this is it's really going to give you an opportunity to kind of just trance out a little bit, to go into peripheral vision, to go into the parasympathetic nervous system, to oxygenate your cells and to kind of just reset your mind so that you are in uptime, refreshed and ready to go. It's a technique called Hakalau and it's the active meditation that was present here in the islands of Hawaii and in fact was taught to my father by a person named Papa Bray. And Hakalau works like this. It is a form of meditation or self-hypnosis that allows your brain to kind of just relax, slow down a little bit, go into that alpha brainwave pattern. And when you do it with a couple of deep breaths, you bring in oxygen and it invigorates you and kind of gets you back into that uptime state. By doing this, even for five or 10 minutes, it can literally help you refresh and it can be like taking almost an hour and a half to two hour nap. So here's the way you do it. The first thing you do is you pick a spot to look at on the wall just above eye level. That's focusing in on a spot. And then what you do is you kind of just let go. Let your mind just kind of relax a little bit. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. That's called a ha breath. The ha breath in ancient times here in Hawaii helped to bring in some manna or energy to help increase your vitality. In fact, before we go out and chant and do hula, my kumu etua, my teacher of hula will get the girls who are about to dance all around and he'll say, all right, let's all breathe. And then he'll say in Hawaiian, hanu, and he'll hit his drum and everyone will together. The ha breath, very important breath here in Hawaii. Again, brings in mana or energy. It oxygenates the cells. You do this while staring at a spot just above eye level and then allow your awareness to go out into the peripheral. You can even if you want to hold your hands up and wiggle your fingers in the peripheral. You want to kind of have this far back as possible. And what you just want to do is allow your awareness to expand in all directions and hold that for as long as you can. Just allowing your mind to relax. You can let your whole body relax as you do this. Loosen up your jaw. Let it flow all the way down to your toes like a warm blanket of relaxation. And by doing this, what you will do is you'll give your brain an opportunity to reset. You'll bring in a little bit of energy in your body. And heck, I do this about, I don't know, every 90 minutes or so. Just a quick stare out the window. Oh, if you can get outside in nature and do this in your surroundings, you can actually go farther into Hakalau because you can see farther. And what this will do is it will really help to keep your vitality and energy going. Be your own espresso. I think that's one of the articles that I wrote one time. Learn how to be your own espresso. That's one of the ways of doing it. So I hope this helps out. Good little video blog tip for you guys. So what we'd like to do is go ahead and end as we normally do. We say Malama Ponno. We all stand in righteousness. Aloha kea kua. Love is your shield. Love comes from a higher source. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be your best. That's quoting from the great philosopher Skylar James. And finally, aloha ahuiho. Class dismissed. Love you all. Take care.